afternoon. I would like to welcome all you here tonight. Um, but before we get started, we're going to ask Pastor Roy for a blessing. Could you bow your heads with me? Father, we thank you for this day and for all that you're doing in our lives. And we ask you tonight that you would be with us and you would guide us and comfort us as we're here to celebrate this wonderful youth memorial in this wonderful garden that you've created. And so, Father, we ask for your blessing and, Lord, that you'd be with us tonight. And we thank you for all that you're doing in this, this great city. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, good afternoon. I'm Rusty Taylor. I am public relations for the Castro Grande Youth Commission. I would, like, I would like to welcome you here to have our kickoff and candlelight vigil for the Garden of Sunshine Youth Memorial Garden. This special garden will be a place where Castro Grande families will be able to visit, remember, and appreciate. At this time, I would like to introduce Jocelyn Pinon and Megan McWhorton for a uh, commission for the commission uh, chairs for this project. Hi, I'm Megan McWhorter. Um, I just want to tell you a little bit about the project. Um, the Garden of Sunshine Memorial Garden is a youth-led project by the Castle Grand Youth Commission. The name was chosen after a young man, Zach, Sunshine Eyed, along with his sister, Katie, who were in a tragic crash and died. The commission and the Eyed family have been working together to plan the garden that is reflective of personal memories as well as a celebration of life. The memorial wall will open to any family who has lost a child between the ages of zero and 18 years of age, or is a senior in high school who has connections to Casa Grande. The commission has been overwhelmed as a community response for the garden. It is clear that the community cares about the young people and wants to help families like the Ides have a place to celebrate and remember. We are steadily building sponsorships for materials, garden layout, and labor needed to build this special place. We are planning to have several work days in late March and will be inviting the community to help. Thank you. At this time, I would like to invite a friend of the Ides to say a couple words. Uh, can we have Sarah Wood up here, please? On behalf of the Ides and um, everybody here, I just want to thank you guys for coming so much. It means a lot, I'm sure, to Zach and Katie and to their parents as well and to their brother. So thank you for coming. Um, a tragedy that happened, unfortunately, we can't change, we can't do anything about and uh, but we still have the memories of, that they hold in our hearts. Their smiles, if they pass you in the hall, you know, that smile is just so unforgettable and they just shine brightly wherever they walked. Um, maybe you played on a volleyball team with Katie or the track team with Zach and uh, you know that they were supportive in everything they did and <clears throat> no matter what happened, they were always happy through everything. They could be in a really bad mood, but somehow still brighten your day up. And uh, Katie was notorious for spanking butts. You all know that if you knew Katie. So uh, it's, she would just be laughing and laughing and come up behind you and just randomly do just funny things to you. And, and Zach was named Sunshine because of his blonde, luscious hair and um, his bright smile. And they were just two amazing, amazing kids. And Sunshine, of course, he had all the girls. He had the ones that were years older than him, the ones that were years younger than him. Somehow he got every one of them. And you all know it's true. Everybody at one point had some kind of crush on Zach. You ask all the girls at high school, it was just the funniest thing. And, uh, but no matter what, no matter what happens, all those memories will, will stay fresh in our hearts. And anytime, uh, their name comes across anytime, anytime we look at this park, anytime we pass the I-10, you know, we always think about them. And it's just something that is so dear to me and myself because, you know, 
being such good friends and um, just having the opportunity just to love on Zach and Katie and um, having Zach kind of like a brother. It's just kind of like a, a, just a soft spot for me, especially now when young kids are passing away and, and it's just so special, you know, that we have the opportunity to know these two amazing, amazing people because they, that you know that their smiles were just the brightest things that you can ever imagine. And they were just so special to each and every one of us. That's why we're here today, right? And that's why we're creating this memorial. So not only are we impacting them, but the whole community is able to come together, even if they didn't know Zach and Katie personally. So I just want to thank you again for coming. And, um, and you guys just have an awesome night. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah, for that. Tonight, tonight marks the eve of the crash that took Katie and Zach Sunshine from us in 2009. It is because of this that this vigil serves a rem re reminder <coughs> of those two special people. It is also a time that we light candles to remember all young people who we have lost. These candles being lit re represents a lot of each of us about losing someone special to us. We ask that your candle, your, we ask that you light your candle and help someone next to you light their candle. Each of you have memories that you your own, but tonight we come together as a community to honor those memories and show support of families for those who have lost a son, a daughter, or perhaps a grandchild. We are here with you and honor those memories with you. Tonight was a candlelight visual uh, and a kickoff for the Garden of Sunshine Memorial Park. The Youth Commission has been working on this since August and they have been planning this with the Eid family who unfortunately lost two children, um, Zach and Katie, about two years ago uh, at this time for a crash in on the freeway. And so the Youth Commission, many of them knew Katie and Zach and they knew the Eid family. Uh, their older brother, Matthew, was actually part of the founding Youth Commission in the city of Casa Grande. And so they wanted to do something with the Eid family to memorialize what their children was about. And it really has evolved around the fact that many young people in Casa Grande have lost their lives, not just the Eid family. And they recognize that and they want this to be a place that all families can go to really memorialize their children and have a place where they can go and pay tribute and celebrate their lives instead of living in mourning. The memorial is going to be located at the Car McNatt Park, um, directly beside the swimming pool, and it'll be at Brown and McMurray, and that'll be a place that there's a lot of youth activities, and that's one of the reasons that we really wanted to, to have a place where people would see it and enjoy it, and instead of it being a quiet place, it'll be a place where you hear children's laughter. It's going to have um, a walkway through the park, we're going to have a wall that is actually being designed by local artists that will be a sunshine, a ray of sunshine uh, around that. And then we will have smaller sunshines that will be all over that wall that will encompass the names uh, and the dates of the children um, that have been lost in Casa Grande. So if whether there's somebody that has lost somebody that 
at birth or whether they were 18 and a senior in high school, they have the opportunity to have their names on that wall. We have a lot of people in our country that feel that you know kids um, are only out there causing trouble and I think that the Youth Commission is a prime example of kids that are doing good things and that they want what's better for their community and that our community needs to continue to support them because the more that we support our, our kids they're going to come back and want to live here and we want people to stay in Casa Grande.